Your support has been a constant source of encouragement for Devin and for me. We truly do feel the prayers and we read the post on Facebook and the tweets and the emails and the notes. We have just been overwhelmed by your kindness and your support. Unfortunately, tonight did not turn out the way we had hoped, but hope is not lost. Our hope remains now where it has always been in Christ Jesus our Lord, who is the one true hope of the world. When we got into this race, we didn't know what the future would hold, but we always knew who holds the future. And that was enough for us to take this step. We knew that no matter what the result was, our God works all things for the good of those who love him. All along, our faith has been in God, not in the outcome of this race. The outcome has always been in his hands, not ours. For our part, we have worked hard alongside each of you, traveling the state and meeting voters and talking about what we believe needs to change in this country. It has been a wonderful experience, and my family and I are greatly blessed to have had this opportunity. Tonight, this campaign is over, but our cause remains and the fight definitely continues. We must remain committed to the ideas of liberty and we must keep fighting for the conservative cause. And it starts right here in Oklahoma. We must get rid of Harry Reid. That means we have to send Republicans to the Senate, and that Republican is James Langford, and he 100% has my support tonight. He and Cindy have already called him and conceded the race and congratulated him on running a first-class race, and we're so proud and honored that he is a conservative who's gonna go to Washington, D.C. and carry Oklahoma values to Washington, and that's exactly what he needs, but he needs the help of the people in this room. I pledge my full support to him to help him fundraise, to help him knock doors, to help do whatever it takes to take back our country. We had a spirited campaign and a very vigorous debate on the issues. But now is the time for us to unite as Republicans so we can do our part to officially retire Harry Reid in November. I want to thank you all once again for your generous support. Devin and I will never forget. And I also want, while I'm on this stage, to thank this incredible woman, this woman of faith who has stood by my side, absolutely. She's amazing inspiration to me, not just on the campaign field, but in life in general. She's, a, she's the ultimate optimist, and she always believes in me, and she always supports me. I also want to thank my family who's here, my father, my mother, my sister, my nieces and nephews, and certainly my kids, Audrey Grace and Tara Han Wayne. I tell you, uh, they are the apple of my eye and will continue to be. I also want to thank the staff. You know, our staff, we ran on a shoestring budget. Well, absolutely, give the staff a hand. I won't call each of them by name, but they made tremendous sacrifices to get us to the level where we are now. We started out 37 points behind in this race, and we would not be this far along had it not been for them. I also want to thank the incredible volunteers. Uh, we had some of the most loyal and amazing volunteers, and I see you guys right back there. <laughs> And to our friends and supporters and everyone, the 47 legislators who invested you know, credibility into our race, and to people all across the way, people, and I won't start naming names because I know I'll forget some, but I can't thank you all enough for being my friend, for being great Oklahomans, and helping us to get this far. Again, while this race concludes tonight, the fight for liberty does not, and it's going to be incumbent upon each one of us to rally behind Representative Lankford, the Republican nominee, so that we can take back our country. And I will be helping to gather all of you to make sure that he knows that he has our support 100% and unequivocally. Thank you so much, and God bless you, and God bless America.